if one of these teams has to go home, the winner will go on for a rematch against Astralis tomorrow. But for now, all eyes are on Nuke. It is going to be the pick of Falcons. And they will have, of course, the T-side star. Ends famed for their T-side performances on Nuke Anders. A chaotic play, and it's Magus to open things up. First frag has been found, but the trades are coming through. Yeah, speaks with the immediate return. Saiwu now activated with the duelies. The smoke is making it a little bit tricky for them. They kind of don't want to go through it. They're going to try anyway, and they will actually overwhelm Saiwu. Snappy with a double kill and a headshot right on Mezzi. Down low. He can't really do much in that position. Oh, they're dropping right into flames. They could have been a gift. If he landed yeah. those headshots, it would have been sick. But it looks like Falcons have found a way to a bomb plan and probably the round. Well, there we have it. Mezzi. P2000. 25 HP. Three kills to find. And a bomb to defuse. That's not a bad start. Excellent shot. But overall... I'd be very excited to see that. Either way, I think it'd be a really, really fun game. Strahd is looking so hot right now. So, first gun round, Anders. M4s across the board. We know that Snappy likes to call a lot of fast upper plays. Good trades for now, but Madden, he needed a reload. Try to suck himself in the corner. This is not looking good at all. Some pious. His opportunity now in the three versus one, but his clutch potential is fantastic. He thrives in these sort of scenarios. I doubt he can win this one. Objective, just try and keep them as modest as possible financially. If he can find one, two kills, that would be epic. And he's got plenty of time to work with here. So there's no real reason to rush it. Bait out that utility. Bleed the grenades out. See if anyone hunts for a bit of information here. The problem is he doesn't have the bomb. I believe it's under their remit. Yeah, that's the one thing that would make it a little bit more of an interesting round if you could have got a kill on a bomb plant, you know. Exactly. But... If he had the bomb on his back right now, maybe he could start pulling them around, get them doubting themselves, but they have control of it. He's just hoping that the CTs come exploring. Yeah, the, the fact the door is closed as well is really rough for him. He can't even <laughs> look towards main entrance or a peak or anything. That's pretty sick. They smoked it, Molotov, it, then they closed it. So yeah. Just making absolutely sure that he's got no way through. So turns out he just wants to wait out the round. Let it go. We're going to see a lot of that. Like we, we've commentated plenty of uh, snappy T sides. Yes. Nuke likes that chaotic play style, though. Those set pieces out of spawn, lots of upper rushes. And uh, it seems like Vitality more than prepared for that sort of interaction. It's Sphinx with two kills, Flames with a single frag, but it's enough to hold on to the upper bomb side. Three players survive as well. They're going to go and hunt those AK 47s. I was huge kills for Boros. There's Apex with the. M4A1S, a classic little boost here. Trying to find the first kill. Oh, gets a lot more to be bargained for, though. A lot of damage. Might want to consider swapping out with Sphinx. Give him the rifle now. But 4-1 start, Anders. On the T side of Nuke, you couldn't really ask for much more, but Vitality are a team that are more than used to recovering deficits. Uh, this is not a problem for them. It hasn't spiraled just yet. We're still early days here. But yeah, Falcons will be very happy with the beginning of their new T-side campaign. Sphinx with the aforementioned MP9. Oh, there's a chance of a couple of kills here, Anders. He's converted both of them and still hungry for more. Yeah, what a great bit of timing on Sphinx. Absolutely oh. rocks them, but the grenade in return is huge. Apex, he picks off where Sphinx left off there. Even if he got grenaded too, he's very low on health, but that puts a lot of pressure on. Two versus four now. And Vitality... Yeah. If they can steal this round back, my god, what a victory would be for them. Yeah, the job's not done yet. Magius can snappy. 40 seconds to work with him. Four players to find. Two of them are tantalizingly low, however. It's going to be snappy making his way in from main. They've got flashes and a Molotov, but how do they get this round going in their favor? Flashes are going in now. They're going to focus the upper bomb site. But Zaiwu starting to show some form now as Vitality steal the round away courtesy of two. Um, just, you know, tie it all up like that so that you're not allowing a chance for Falcons to bounce back right away. Falcons, they got the AWP on Sun Pires. Everyone loves that. But the rest of them, it's a bit scuffed when it comes to the, to the, to the weapons. And the grenades are almost entirely lacking. So it's going to be a very hard round to win here on the T side. Now, bear in mind, Mezzi throughout his career known as an upper player now towards ramp replacing magis on this squad yeah and now we'll see whether he can actually stand tall and deliver i'd say one of the hardest positions to play on nuke is this ramp position here one of the most thankless for sure 
Good opening frag from Messi. Picking with conviction here. Nothing but headshots. That's how you get it done. Five versus two. Clean as you like from Messi. Maybe a little bit ambitious there from Apex. I would say an unnecessary peak, but shouldn't have a factor in the round. The Brit has delivered on all fronts here. That's fantastic. A statement, was, a statement round, Anders. They won't be going back there in a hurry. That was just so unbelievably clean, wasn't it? Well played. 45 seconds here. They're hearing the footsteps there. Definitely know that they're still around the lobby area. I think if you're on the Falcon side, you're hoping that there's going to be another peak like Apex gave them. When there isn't, probably save the weapons. They don't have really any cash, so even the round loss bonus is not going to help them out that much. So that's what they're going to be doing, is walking away from the round here. Mezzi winning it single-handedly. That is pretty sick. Yeah, I think they're trying to target young Will there, hoping that they could overwhelm him, his lack of experience in that position. But my God. He positioned himself perfectly. Yeah. Lovely first interaction. Timing was stellar on the second, super crispy on the third. They won't be going back to ramp anytime soon. Let me tell you. Mezzi carries. Frustration. Yeah. Well, they did save the AWP of Sun Pius, who normally devours the Vitality squad. He always posts such good numbers against them. They just will have the a AK-47 as well. That was a freebie for some bias. It would have been. That definitely should have been. I don't know how Apex lived through that one, but you don't see some bias miss many of those. Magus with a shot right through the smoke, taking down Spinks. That's a good start here. Falcons still have Vitality in a bit of an awkward position. They can start to win a couple of more rounds. Again, Vitality will really quickly run out of money. And a four on five in this round. Plenty of time left. Still that double setup towards ramp. In a four and five to two people at the ramp position is... That's a hard commitment. Oh, Mage is trying to beat the smoke. Here comes the swing, and they've actually coordinated themselves perfectly. Fantastic trades here towards upper. Relax there, Madden. You're all good. Orb should connect no problem on towards Zaiwu, throwing Mezzi into what looks like an unwinnable scenario, and that seems to be the of you. Then he sees the single door fly open, gets himself a double kill. Zywu rotates him with the AWP. And I was about to say, the money's going to be a bit of a question mark here. They've, they've saved guns in previous rounds, but haven't built up a huge streak of loss bonus. That's more like it, though. Going towards that round, this time with the entry, and we'll see whether Flames can do anything about it. Unable to spot the initial players that have already broken through. A massive grenade is delivered. He's done serious damage here, Anders. Looking to find them through the smoke. Apex finds them the man advantage. Three versus two. Oh, Falcons are going to be gutted at this round. They had the entry towards the ramp that they won it. They had everything going for them. You're absolutely right. Flames showing up. He only got the one kill, but the grenade slowed him down. Nobody could really push behind that one. And now they're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, but it's not impossible to convert this one. First objective, try and get that bomb down towards lower. Get a smoke off towards the window and decon. Maybe a... Uh, Nice Astralis plan here. Going to have to take a risk and just hope you can cover the double doors. So plan goes down. No CT presence to swing out and deny it. Going to coordinate themselves as a trio. Use their HP advantage and isolate these fights. Both players on the bombsite floor here. Oh, Snappy he can so easily be grenaded in this corner. It's like one thing that lands and he's in trouble. Well, Bang not quite connecting on Madden, so he's fine for the minute, sticking around. It's a really strong position. Snappy, no grenade needed. Apex, the one to take him down for a double kill so far in the round. And now it's Madden versus three. Apex just barreling onto the bomb site. We'll clean it all up, and the defuse is going to be coming through. They'll tie up the game at five to five. Yeah, nice, calm, and disciplined retake there. No one swinging out by themselves, not trying to deny that plan. Let them get it down. Make sure you guarantee the retake here. You don't want to be swept. Boys are chaotic. They're fast paced. A lot of calls out of spawn. This one is no different. All five players towards outside. He's in the same wall of smoke. What's the objective here? They've been trying to utilize the secret steps as much as possible. Zywer with a slight gap in the smoke. Oh, Lord, he'll get a couple. Looking for the third. Doesn't quite connect. Yeah, but he wants to keep going. Apex trying to be activated. Even if he doesn't get the third shot there, it's slowed down. They're all completely dispersed out of the yard. Nobody really knows how to cross anymore. 
Snappy on the one side, San Pius on the other side, and Vitality looking to pick up that seventh round, looking very good for them at the moment too. Apex had a really fantastic first half. Nine kills on him, Spinks on ten, top fragging at the moment. But uh, again, for the for the captain of the Vitality team, that's that's a lot of output. No bomb on San Pius, so he he can't even force the issue. He, otherwise. He actually could get the bomb planted and, and maybe Snappy's position could be converted into a bit of a lurk. But that's not going to be possible because Snappy's the one with the bomb. 35 seconds left here. Four versus two. Almost nothing I, I can see that suggests the Falcons can win this one. That's not a bad start. The problem is though, you're going to be traded out. Some pious left. We have almost nothing to do here. 15 seconds. Desert Eagle in hand. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we know which way this one's going. After a very difficult start, it was the Falcons that were soaring as they started to look stronger than ever. And they take the lead 7-5 to five as they switch over to their, their offensive campaign. We've got two flashes and a Molotov for Apex here. They love a P250 on this squad, but not one to be seen this round. Maybe towards upper. A pounce is coming through. Could just be a molly on the hut. A double flash bang in. And off we go. That seems to be the case. Oh, the duel is going to be put to the test on Pires. Yeah, quick to throw down the smoke. He saw it coming. He was prepared already. And now let's see if he can do it with the pistols as well. But no, Flames takes him down. Megas in the corner. Great couple of headshots. But it might not be enough. They're still on the bomb site here. Three versus three. They're actually going before the bomb has even been attempted. Right into Saibu. And he lands a stunning shot onto Madden. And now they're going to escape. They say, you know what? Let's try and see if we can get out of here. Snappy oh. very low on health, but they're down below with the bomb. It's a scrappy round, but Vitality have full control. It's down to Boros. Let's see what he can make of this one. Trying to make a name for himself. If he can somehow win this round for Falcons, it would be absolutely sensational. They've got no kip, no utility. The first kill goes in his favor and now snappy thrown into the one versus one doesn't have the hp to work with and it will be the second half pistol from vitality even though it's a 1v1 snappy had zero chance of winning that one we do have a force fight as per tradition here at spring groups 2024 mp9s a scout for sun pious he is absolutely deadly with this particular weapon if he can land a couple of tags, he'll set up the SMGs nicely. Apex needs to be careful to check his corners here. One more player lying in wait. That's snappy. Can he get out of it? Apparently he can. Lovely movement. Yeah, oh, but the frags continue and in favor of Vitality as well. They managed to find Madden and there's Sun Pius, like you said. Deadly with the scout. He's going to find Saibu and Boris. There's a bit of a distance here. It's the MAC-10 on the other side, though. So he will be able to claim the kill anyway. Very low behind that fright, but still, it's a two versus two, and the bomb is quite far away. Yeah, this is the second round four spy. A two on two. Some pious, active, knowing that his teammate's low. He needs to do the heavy lifting here. Hits the scout shot twice. Mezzi, known for his clutch potential, but Boros, he gets the backstab in. It's very. It was, it was wild to see him play in the in the Paris RMR. And he's, yeah, he's gone quite far since, you have to say. It's not for nothing. Meg is down. Apex continuing. Gets the headshot for Boris. Whoa! And Snappy, a bit of a flag coming in. A double kill for Boris. They've completely taken out the back line. Vitality, they got the double opening that they desperately needed. But now they're in trouble. Boris will continue his reign of terror. You know how hard they can hit. So trying to outfrank some of these players, definitely very, very tricky. It's a two-round gap at the moment, but Falcons have done great work at the start of the second half. They got all the money in the world. Madden's taking a bit of damage. I think Sampias heard the footsteps. Apex is searching for him as well, but Sampias, look at how deep he is. He might win the round based off this. Yeah, Sai was never going to expect it. He's dead. And Apex down towards secret. Yeah, that's the one thing they got going for them. They have no idea that Apex is there. Sampias one step ahead, though. He predicts it. Finds his second kill of the round, but Spinks, he'll also get a couple as well. Three versus three. Vitality need to win this one. Yet to post a single round on their T side. Lovely shot from Flames. That's more like it. Boros once again trying that aggression in towards the ramp room. Magus, an absolute rock solid anchor as well. It's going to be so difficult to try and flush him out of this position. They know it as well. Some pious. 
Finally dropped. And Magus thrown into a two versus one scenario as they scramble down the vent. He gives them his position. And they can get an easy open plan here. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, no way! How did he do that? What kind of magic is this? One versus one. Flames on the other side, and he's got to be worried, but he faces it. He overcomes his own fear and takes down Magus. Hex spinks with at a full array of utility. Same story for Mezzi as well. So firepower's there. Missing a couple of bits of pieces, but to the timeout. Needs to win this one. If they lose this round, oh, they are in a lot of trouble. It's going to be a fast upper execution here. Who can find that first frag? It's going to be Mezzi, but Snappy is fighting back. He's been fantastic on this upper bombsite floor. Magus continues to dominate, and it's Falcons pushing them back. No problem whatsoever. Very fast pacing behind it. It's difficult to fend off as Snappy. He finds two with no one on his screen. One step closer to victory in this first map. Their pick of Nuke, 11 to 9. Yeah. Apex chosen to be the hero this time. The in-game leader takes it upon himself to wield the AK-47. Surrounded by pistols and decent map territory. I'm not sure he's completely undetected, but no smokes down there. They didn't see him. Can he be the catalyst to success, success here as he goes down towards Secret? through the back lines and maybe in towards ramp. Do they wait for him to try and find a pick first before they commit to the push? He still has to be careful, right? Because if you open the door or shoot at the windows, then they're going to hear. So this is the problem. They need someone else to like shoot a window yes. for him. That's been done in the past, or at least make a little bit of noise at the ramp. So maybe they're preoccupied a little bit. Yeah. This is not easy. You see he's locked in to the cage down towards the window. As soon as he shoots that window, they know exactly where he is. If he opens the squeaky door, same story. So he needs his teammates to take some of the aggro. That's the best possible start they could hope for there. Oh, here comes Apex, hoping to find a couple of frags here. Some Pius did well to keep it to a three on three. Madden quickly rotates down towards window. This next frag could decide the round and Apex, he delivers the goods. That is massive. CT's on the back foot now, around. They should be winning all day long up against four pistols and the in-game leader of an AK, but Flames recovers the AWP. Guarantees the round and double digits here. A lifeline has been thrown to vitality due to the positioning of Apex sneaking down towards the, the steps at the start. Yeah, that is so sick. And the timing, yeah. it could not have been better. Boris was actually, had his aim trained down. He was looking straight down underneath him, ready for the push. But because they pushed on the other side exactly it's, when they needed to. It's some pies getting two kills, so you can't really blame him or anything like that. But the fact he doesn't get the initial frag gives him so much space. It makes things yeah. a lot more overwhelming, stifling. If you're a random defender, you're trying to pull out your grenades, trying to get him towards cover. That's when Apex comes up as well. To the server. He's got the AWP as we'll see if they can tie things up. It's Falcons that need one more for Matt Point. Money not an issue here. And Madden playing with assertion, playing with confidence. Well, top safe. down, and he's got himself squeaky door control. I wonder if they know that Spinks is in here or if Spinks might have heard Madden run as well. So it's possible that Madden actually is in more trouble than it seems. They have Molotovs. If they hurt him, they can burn him out of the corner. Do they check it? Do they have the presence of mind? I don't think Apex does. Definitely didn't hear a single thing. Madden, important kill right there, but Spinks activated. Oh! And a great couple of kills. Takes down Snappy towards Mini, and now they're trying to push through, but it's too late. Madden comes back out of the smoke, and he's down by Flames, and Boros, that's too much. Up in the rafters, alone against four people. That's not going to work. Spinks and Flamesy, what a duo. Spinks is just such a good Counter-Strike player. You give him an inch, he'll take a mile every single time. You go near his crosshair, you're going down. And even after that nice coordinated push towards Squeaky, undetected, Madden with the opening frag, but he left his teammates towards Upper on an island. He go down, and there's nothing they can do to recover. That really was the battle of the unknowns, right? They didn't know that Madden was pushed forward, but then again, the CT side had no idea that Spinks was that exactly. forward in hut, so... And Spinks just making so much more of it. Here they come. Some bias. You're in trouble here, my friend. Maybe you're able to get a couple of kills. Dancing around the smoke. Does he survive? It's going to be very close. They get him. That is actually quite significant. Over overtime. Or do we see Vitality snatching away the first map, the pick of the Falcons, when they were looking so good. They were red hot for moments in this game. Utility to point towards upper. And really 
Unfortunate duel there. Some Pius stepping up with that aforementioned M4A1S. It's enough to find the man advantage. No real damage inflicted on the other side. <gasps> Boros can be baited in here towards the ramp. First kill, four flames. The Famous doesn't quite connect. It does some damage, but we're back to a four and four. Does he drop down? Does he continue to fight? These are the questions. Madden finds the timing with the lobby aggression here. Could be enough to take us towards overtime. Boros fighting back now. He gets the double. I think that's enough. Spinks left in a four versus one. And against all the odds, Vitality almost have no chance of winning round number 24. Madden's had a bit of a rough game, but that was a mental push through the smoke. That absolutely rocked Vitality. Now, Boris wanted to get the double kill, but I guarantee you Vitality, they were in shock because that happens towards lobby. They have to respect the fact that there could be someone walking up behind them. It's a bit of a disaster now. Spinks, one versus four. You almost never win these. He's going to be found early on here. We'll take a bit of damage for his efforts. Go straight for the bomb plant. You might as well. Oh, actually, tries to fake it out. See if he can maybe find a kill. Make it a one versus two before he gets any closer. But they are circling around him. Going to be makers coming in from the ramp behind him. Yeah, he knows it. He's completely locked in. No escaping this one. And time still plenty of it left, man. A nice shot there. It's overtime on the opening map. It's all about that outside duel. Apex was hoping with the initial utility and the lack of AWP, he would win that particular fight. But what a call that was. Sampai has boosted up onto the garage roof today as we get into overtime. First to 16, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're enjoying the game. What a way to kick off your Friday here. Fantastic counter-strike. Everyone turning up. Close rounds, overtime in the first, and Magus, once again, aggression in towards the lobby. Overwhelming the offense here. It's their lobby now. And Flames, understanding what they've lost, trying to reclaim territory elsewhere, but some Pius always one step ahead. Otherwise, a sick move from Flames. That actually could have really paid off. But now they've lost Flames, and Boris is taking down Spinks all at the same time. So three versus five still. You need a mistake here. You need Falcons to be a little bit aggressive somewhere. Apex out fighting. He was swinging for the fences on that one, and it was too much. Snappy will take him down. Apex trying to make a lot happen by himself these last few rounds. Hasn't worked out. Zaiwu Mezi, almost zero chance of winning this one. Two on five. No map control. No damage inflicted to the CTs. But a nice headshot. Step in the right direction. If Zaiwu can find some Pius, maybe there's a chance. And there's the kill. The nightmare scenario now for Falcons. Lose a two on five in the opening round of overtime. Oh, that would hurt. That would sting, to say the very least. Still oh. absolutely fine. Like, it's going to take a lot yes. more than this to win this round. But they've got utility. They've got a smoke for squeaky door. I mean, it's been a couple of slip-ups. I think you're right. They, they still should be fine. 15 seconds on the clock. Grenade. I'm not going to kill anyone either. Perfect grenade, though. Yeah, Boris taking a lot of damage. 10 seconds left. Oh, no! no we were way. waiting. We've been waiting all game for that one side we round. Let's see if he can do oh, it now. Oh, 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 my God! He's taken down Boris. And Snappy, what have you got now? Out with a swing. He gets it. Oh, no, but Messi gets it instead. It's a round. Vitality. They claimed overtime. Oh, he sandbagged them the whole way through. He was good, but he was not quite the Saiwu level. And they disrespected him one time. One time when they think, okay, it's a five on two. Like, what, what's the problem here? We're going to win it, obviously. Holy, what a game. What a way to kick things off here. And now Sphinx to be tested once again by Zaiwu. He's got the whole hand now. Shuts down that lobby crunch that has been working so effectively for Falcons. What a crushing way to kick things off. A five on two falls apart. Old Faithful, the lobby push that hasn't worked either. Madden down to 20 points of health. Cowering on top of the hot roof right now. Majisk sent down towards lower. They have nothing in terms of intel. Someone has to step up here. Zywo certainly has not a quiet game by him by any stretch of the imagination, but he just didn't have any of those show-stopping moments right up until round number 25. Zywo surely done for now, though, but he's always so ready. He's done his work here, and bear in mind, Madam was low. That Molotov takes care of him. 
Yeah, just... It <laughs> looked like he didn't even try to move. It looked like he just said, all right, I'm dead. Magus would have to try and do one better than Saibu here. Try to do a one versus four. The one's about to be planted here. We'll spawn out a player in Yar. That's Apex, who's already a bit low on health. So he may be able to catch him. Okay, turns it into a one versus two. But the truth is, all the work is still ahead of him. He's definitely not anywhere near the finishing line here. Smokes are going up left and right. They have a couple of flashes on the other side. Gonna try and blow open his own smoke and look for the kill. My God, he gets Spinks, but flames in the corner. Damn. And he puts an end to the attempt. Sick round otherwise from Megis. Pass and now we're going for a double orb setup. Boros orping towards the ramp. Snappy, oh God, you hate to see it. Trying to get quickly down towards that secret position. No flashes deployed, no smoke to veil his cross. And a quick jump. Fantastic movement from Flames. And some Pius doesn't pull the trigger. If he did, maybe there was a chance of a kill, but Vitality hot to trot right now, looking for the 3-0 in the opening half here of overtime. It will be managed to pull one back. What a game he's had so far. 26 kills. It might not be enough, though, as he continues to frag. They know exactly where he is. He's locked into the back of the bomb site. No backup on Rue. He's done absolutely everything here. But, oh, God, it's Zywoo left, Anders. It's good. Be another no. one of those moments. He's got some space to wiggle, to wiggle with here. Absolutely not, Henry. There's a you chance. You already had one of these rounds. There's a real chance here. Baros not known to be an AWPer as well. He'll be the first one to challenge. Tech nine. First kill comes through. They're starting to they're starting to shake now. Starting to realize who they're up against. Baros gives up his position as well. Zywe has full control of the bomb. Has a player coming behind him. Yeah, Sun Pius. He's the linchpin in this one. Every step, one step closer to killing Saibu here. The flick is enormous. Tech oh. he can't get it out in time. Some hires there to stab him in the back. And Falcons desperately needing this round. Having to fight Saibu once again, but this time they finally bring an end to him. Another three versus one. Up to 28 kills right now. Unreal. We'll swap things over. Remember, it's first to 16, so one round of vitality will yield map points. Apex, finally a bit of luck in his favor. Not the same story for Sphinx, so maybe oversteps the mark with the advantage. Trying to make up for it. The lobby crunch, giving them a taste of their own medicine, and boy, is it ever bitter. They are going to see T's make their way out towards upper. Snappy's found some room here. Next kill is everything, and the in-game leader going above and beyond for the Falcons. Soaring high on the upper bomb site, but Zywoo once again thrown into the clutch. You know he can win these sort of rounds. Oh, they're giving him a chance. What are they doing? They're running towards him! One bullet away! Last round of overtime. Well, this is where Snappy really will be tested at the in-game leader. Madden has actually done great work. He might be undetected here. Down lower already. Zywoo operating at red box this time. Apex another clean kill through the smoke. This is down to Madden at this point. He'll have to try and save the day. He goes through decon. Mezzi is communicating a lot. He seems to be very aware of this frost. They must have heard the door open, oh. and they are going to spot it. Madden's done for. Yeah, surely out in the open. Apex, just <laughs> the widest peak you've ever seen. Yeah. Runs all the way into the center of the bomb site. Double overtime is looking very, very likely at the moment. A five versus three. Hey, nothing is guaranteed in this world, Anders especially not in the world of CS2. We saw a 2v5 slip away from Falcons in regulation. We'll see whether this is where Apex can close things out, take us a double overtime, that's his hat trick. Magus down to the seven points of health, Mezzi tucked in towards window. Snappy with the bomb. Zywoo can hear them. He needs to be very careful here. If he goes down, that uh, key scalp should be absolutely fine. And they've done it, double overtime. Pretty much a guarantee at this stage. The bomb goes down in vain. Snappy, it would be unthinkable to imagine a world where he can take down these players surrounding him and indeed Vitality. They managed to get through it. Double overtime confirmed. This time they start on the CT side. Great performance from Falcons though. Keeping their head above water here after suffering a 2-1 deficit on their CT campaign. They answer back. They reset things and we do it once again. Little upset up for Vitality as well. It's risky to do the A rush in overtime because you know they will have grenades. Exactly. You know they're going to be able to deploy them. Here we go, though. Boros trying to make his way out. 
Again, he's had a couple of times where it hasn't really worked out for him. This time it's not Apex that he runs into, but Saiwu instead. That's really nice. Like, that's just playing the advantages there. You know there's multiple players towards outside. The smokes will be dissipating soon. Get your advantage. Get the hell out. Takes down Boros, who's been a nuisance for them in that particular area as well. Looking for 2-0 here. They've got the 5-on-4 advantage. A lot of utility expended there from the T side at the start of the round, and they've lost all of their smokes. CT's yeah. still active as well, not resting on their laurels, knowing there's heavy commitment towards outside. Let's take two players towards lobby. Let's trade out a kill. Is anyone anchoring that position? How do they cross this with no smoke? Thing. No smoke. So you've got to wait for mistakes here. Oh. And there might be one. Snappy already snuck down towards lower. That's the cue to go. Yeah. Maybe that'll displace the defense just a little bit, just enough for them to make their way across here. Yeah, and they are going to be running with the bomb. They're getting close now. 45 seconds. Still no smokes. Yeah, and that is an issue. Some bias. Nice shot. Mezzi out of the round and they've managed to dodge that awb Saibu so far even without the smokes he hasn't been able to land a shot yet except for the beginning of it but now that the bomb is planted here definitely don't want to be facing him either madden takes down flames on the other side but yeah stay away from Saibu. he's picked up the rifle instead he's back on for another one he does not want to give them this round falcons great job getting the bomb down but this is not done yet. They have the fuse kits looking for an opening here. Magus going to close the door once again. Spinks out of the round and Saiwu shot in the back. He nearly did it one more time. Have a massive advantage on the CT side. Their map pick. Two map points to work with here. They've been confident and assertive. Would like to see more of the same. Saiwu completely rocked by Boros. Is that the frag that decides the map? Snappy, he continues. With the aggression on the CT side, this time meets his makeup. Flames burns him to a crisp with the AK-47. Apex has no idea. Sun Pius, he just slipped into that corner. And Apex had his back turned. Great timing. But yeah, Boros defeating Saiwu towards the ramp. That's everything that they could have wished for here. Three versus four. Falcons. It's still a brand new team. Do they have the cohesion to play this one out? Play it slow, don't take any risks. Trade your way through this round if you can. Don't go fighting too much alone. They are gonna try and lobby oh. crunch this with all four players. What a massive risk this is, but it might pay off. You gotta make these sort of plays. This is how you win games, Anders. You don't rest in your laurels and sit in crossfires. You're active, you're surprising them. And that's such a great maneuver. So much pressure being applied. Trying to alley you, Magus. This is for the map win. One more kill away. And Falcons, they pass the test with flying colors. The first map is theirs after giving up some design. Can they find their form here on the T side of Vertigo? Like we said, their map pick. And it's going to be a set piece over towards B, Anders. We've got all five players here. A Smoke, Molotov, HE, Flashbang. All on the back of him, game leader. And they're playing, Apex. they're playing B as a retake. Falcons, they don't even have the kit or the smoke or anything. What a tremendous risk. Do they have some sort of protocol that we're not aware of? No kit, at least. Yeah, that's normally if you do this, you'd have the smoke kit combination. That's how you want to win the round. We brought it up over and over again. But this instead will just be the raw mechanical retake. They're going through, trying to see if they can make it in. Oh no! my God, it's working beautifully. They've absolutely <laughs> they about to enter the bomb side. But yeah, he gets an MP9. It's all good. But this is a, a monumental round. If they get the 3-0 start again, good Lord. God help Vitality as Madden gets a double kill cleanly through the smoke. What a way to kick things off. Round three is an absolute disaster for Vitality. They get no map territory, no frags, and they find themselves in yet another five on two. It's guaranteed to give Apex that Listerine face, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, like a feeling of like just... Nasty. You, two people shot through the smoke. Madden just playing battleships blind. He can't see anything on the other side, but he's just absolutely able to find them. They're playing so confident as well. Very assertive at the start. Every round, every maneuver, they have something up their sleeve. And Madden was, was quiet at points of nuke. He couldn't really get going until like overtime. He really came to life at that point, but currently sits a five and yes. one and might have single-handedly taken this first gun round. He sits behind sandbags right now. Teaser just have to overlook him. They check it. Oh, okay. They don't want to take him down just yet. There's a chance they win this, 
It'll go a bit further. It's going to be down to Sphinx to patrol that sandbag position while Flames is allowed to cook. Oh, but he missed a shot! It's a nice idea for Flames. You could see for them to win the round, it has to help them. Very modest. You can see that they're all sub $2,000, really. So just one round victory is all they need. They're right back into it. But they have to find that round first. Incendiary deployed. Mezzi, as we mentioned, quiet performance so far. Here comes more and more utility. He's going to be challenged eventually. Spots one. So he knows Madden at least was at the steps. I think he spotted both of them. I think he has an idea. There's a double setup and that even that will should give some openings in the middle. So yeah, they're reacting to that, knowing it's more of a B lean this time. You can see there's double grenades available though. Falcons is looking to deny the plan. First grenade is successful. Magus, I think he's caught off guard here. Yep, Mezu will find him. Four and four. That might be the cue to actually make their way in towards the B bomb site. It absolutely is snappy. There's not really much he can do here, Anders. He's got 30 points of health. Oh. And down he goes. Messi coming to life now. Messi just made this opening for his team. They They're have already to save. saving, yeah. They have to. They only get $1,400 into the next round. There's, there's no world you can consider going for this one. Save the AWP. Madden especially. He's got the cash. He can drop our weapon. But they have to save all three players at this point. Magis. It's been so fantastic there towards B, but it's all down to Messi's intel. The fact he spots those players towards the steps, he sees them fall back, suggesting they're going to rotate in towards A, feeling that B was clear. He finds that opening frag towards the B bomb site. Magis goes down, and that's their cue. Make their way in, and nothing can be done. Snappy was already low. He got dropped through the smoke. Double kill for Messi, and that's all it takes. Vitality are on the board. Thankfully, though, Falcons do save three weapons, which was actually three. Ranked six in the world overall. Yeah, he's not to be underestimated. And Saiwood doesn't have the orb on the other side yet, right? They're on the T side, so he's favoring the on, AK for the on, speed. On Vertigo, he honestly doesn't use it too often, especially on the CT side. He actually opts for more of a, a rifle setup, and he's a world-class rifler as well. But that's neither here nor there at this stage. We'll see if some pious can put his to good effect. First frag. Should have been his. There's the aforementioned Zaiwu. Giving him a taste of lead. Continues to frag out here. Takes a lot of damage, and this frag is everything. Sphinx is just so in the zone right now. Yes, he is. Snappy gets down. Sphinx, even if he was a little bit tagged up, he's still going to get the kill. Great protocol on the A ramp for... And taking the lead. Five to four. As we enter round number ten. Money stabilizing for the CTs. Or for some pious, need Boros to come online here. They're going to stand a chance. Zaiwu firing on all cylinders as he rattles off the first shot. Apex through the smoke as well, contributing to an important kill on Snappy. Same position for Mezzi. Hunting for intel. They've got so much time here, Anders. No one needs to push. No one needs to be taking territory. CTs are going to react. You've got a good 20 seconds before you really need to do much. A rough start to a round after a couple of rounds where you've had no real economy to really fight back with. You have to like, you know, hope to get some deagle shots. Now, finally, you get the investment and it's almost out of your hands before you can even do anything. Vitality, understandably slowing this down. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. Still plenty of time. At this time, could you, you could even justify Falcon stacking a bombsite, right? Trying to save the guns or just go for it. Or, you know, hopefully you, they show up and you just win. First signs of life here from Boros. Zaiwu, though. Oh, my God. The timing eludes him. He is lucky to be alive at this stage. Madden takes less damage than you might think. Clips through the, the wall there. They go back in towards the B bomb side, but the final boss, Magisk, one of the absolute best anchors in all of Counter-Strike. Oh. They're ducking and weaving around the map right now. Madden finds another fortunate timing. 20 seconds. They have to go in towards B. Can... Madis shut them down. Can he find at least one, delay them as long as possible? Yeah, he has to. There's not that much time left either. We're down to 12 seconds. A flash for them to try and cross. He's looking for the headshot. Oh, it's the Molotov Asaihu burning up. Messi alive. Boris has shown up. And now Flames out of time. He cannot win the round. He ends up going down, I think, right before the clock runs. Oh, what, one and seven before that round began? Yeah. Alone on the A bomb site, he hits a brutal headshot, funnels him in towards that B bomb site. So, yeah, great performance all round. We tie things up 5 5. Nothing separating these two teams across two maps so far. We had double overtime on Nuke. Messi going for the boost here. Oh, he doesn't quite nail it, though. 
Didn't expect to see Mages so close. He was uh, trying to take down a player at default. How did he get dinked? I don't know. Magus was walking and shooting and he still dinked him. Apex is gone now. I, I really want to see the replay of that dink. I just have no idea how he hit it. He got so surprised as well. Sai, whether he knows it or not, is a lot of trouble. <laughs> what? what? No! Oh my god! There's absolutely no way! How is he doing he it? He turned for the flash. He spun back around and caught him midair. What an absolutely disgusting kill. Is it enough, though? Mezzi, very low. A minute on the clock. Madden has been rock solid at the A-bomb side. And that's where I got to finish up as well. He has seen good for a double kill each and every round. In terms of utility, plenty of it. Three Molotovs, double smokes, should be around where they walk away with it. Especially with Zaiwu, just one step ahead. A time traveler at this stage knows exactly what's coming around every single corner. That should be enough here. I actually feel a bit sick from watching that. It was so good. I feel a bit lightheaded, you know, like, what is <laughs> happening? How did he do that? The, the setup is so insane for Falcons, right? It is, it is all, he's almost checkmated. They throw the flashbang, he turns. If he turns, the MP9 runs him down. Like, he, you're just dead. You're automatically dead, but <laughs> just doesn't apply to him, I guess. And he hits the follow-up shot as well. Like and the first one is about beyond impressive. But the fact he's like out dueling Sun Pius a second later. It's, just, how? it's beyond grotesque, it really is. Magus Gambora's left just saving the rifles. This look at this. <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. I'm speechless. I'm absolutely speechless. <laughs> what a freak. What an absolute freak. All right then. Well, there's no choice but to save the weapons here. I don't think Magus holds on to this AK, however. Sphinx will find him and Boros as well. That That's if we've lost some round, like just you know, power through. Hey, you're you're against Zywu. Like, he knows more than anyone that he's gonna yeah. have those sort of rounds, right? Yeah. Of course it's gonna happen. We we mentioned it coming into this one. Two or three rounds for map, you're guaranteed to win because of Zywu. That's yeah. the power he beholds. But to be honest, they they won their own three on five. It's not like they haven't been able to dish it back out again. Final round of the half here, round number twelve. And they're not that well equipped on the CT side. Doesn't mean they can't win the round, obviously. But Zywu. He was good on Nuke. He was amazing at the end of Nuke. And now it's just carried on over in this map. It's disgusting and beautiful at the same time. Sphinx has shown solid form throughout this series. MVP candidate for his high impact AK-47 kills. One of the best rifles on the planet right now. As we go for a final B execution here. Mezzi and Flames working in tandem, Anders. This could be enough here. No saving now. The last line of defense is going to be Snappy and Sun Pius. They're taking a lot of damage here. Vitality starting to show that world-class form they're known for. They ain't going down about a fight, though. Madden, oh, he gets one. AK-47 recovered. I don't think he has it in him. He's had a great showing so far. And yet again, after going up 4-0, and zero, it's Vitality that recover the half and potentially the series is looking to take us to Anubis. Falcons, when missing towards the end of that first half, Anders, they need to bounce back and they've won every pistol so far. Can they do it again? That would set them up nicely, wouldn't it? If they could win the pistol round here, start to get themselves rolling a little bit in the second half again. They're in enemy territory here on Vertigo. It's picked by Vitality and... We're starting to get a sense of maybe why that is. Duelies set up here on the CT side. A couple of them, in fact. Not a diffuse kit in sight. So if the bomb goes down, it becomes a really interesting round. Yeah, plenty of manpower here for the CTs. We've got Zyro on those duelies. He's dealt with clinically. Madden and Boros steal the scalps of two. And Apex trying to deny the plants if possible. He can't do it, and he is dropped as well. The trade doesn't do anything for Vitality. Another pistol is slipping out of their grasp. That first flashbang to the corner that took down Saiwu was massive. They had the smoke behind, they had a double flash set up, and one of those two flashbangs absolutely rocked that defense to begin with. So the rest of the Kevlar is making his way out of the bomb site. It will be Falcons picking up this pistol and puts it at six to seven. Yeah, Vitality had all the manpower there. Yeah, they the did. Star player, the Julies, three CTs, couldn't deny the plant, couldn't find a frag really until they took down the plant up. Once the C4 had gone down, 
Pretty massive round there. Falcons pull one back. Vitality side. It's only one round deficit. They're on the CT side now. It's their map pick. I don't think they're panicked yet. No. But what a series. We have been treated to so far. This has been wonderful to spectate. The game hangs in the balance. Another very important round. Ducking and weaving the utility. Flame stands tall on the bomb side, but Madden dispatches of him. Can he get the second? Not quite, but he's done significant damage. Zaiwu holds strong. Some has got a couple of kills available to him towards Short. They're low. They're weak. As they have the man advantage, Short, they scramble out of the point of contention. They retreat. Some Pius confirms it, but Zaiwu still active, still willing to take these jewels. And it looks like it might be enough. Another dink lands and Boros thrown into the clutch. Yeah, he traded that kill. One versus three still left for him. He has to go back and pick up the bomb. He's got plenty of time, and Vitality are giving him a bit of space to work with. I don't think that's because they're scared. I think they're just saying, let's make sure um, that there's no chance for anyone to go down without a revenge kill coming through. Yeah, uh, and their money's brittle as well, right? Like, make him force the next move. He's hoping a CT will be caught out of position. Someone still hanging around the bomb site. They weren't 100% sure that both players from short fell back. He confirms that fact, but no smoke to disallow entrance from elevators. As soon as he plants the bomb, they swarm him. There's no two ways about it. Yeah, he's really checking, but unable to find much. Ooh, pick up the smoke in the meantime. Goes straight for it, at least trying to get the... Oh, no, he actually comes off it. I was going to say he could have got the 800 low bonus, but um, they don't necessarily need it that much. They're going to... 10 to 8, though. Touching distance of Anubis. A compromise buy, to say the very least, in the T side. Barely any utility. Galil is in the hands of Snappy as well. Operating at the 1 minute 40 mark with three smokes and a couple of flashes. Molotov in reserve as well, but that's about it. Zaiwu, so efficient at moving around this map. Staying nimble, staying agile. Avoiding those flashbangs, but he can't avoid the headshots. Magis and Boris working in tandem. That's more like it as they manage to win the round with one single maneuver. Sure, Zywu dodged the flash, but couldn't reposition in time, couldn't find his footing. And that's a much needed round for Falcons there. It's gonna boost their confidence. Apex could do nothing but fall back and hold on to their rifles. Two AKs in reserve for Madden, looking to hunt them down. A lot of force and follow through on that attack to the bomb site. They've tried it a couple of times. They must have sent some sort of weakness. They maybe it's because they've re they've recognized that Vitality are playing further back on the on the site, so they actually get the stairs kind of for free. And they say, "All right, if they're going to give us the stairwell, let's go. Let's set up the flash and let's just go hard at them." It works out. They're going to get the round Falcons. One step closer to closing the gap. This seat, courtesy of the AWP, it's a Mac Temper Snappy opting for more utility. Three AKs otherwise, actually pretty nice overall. Can they stabilize here? Course correct. Get back on track to win this one 2-0 and eliminate Vitality from Spring Group's 2024. But it's kind of now or never, isn't it? You yeah, don't this, have any more the cash round. left. Yeah, it is the round that they need to do it in. They run right into Cywitz Madden, who's been top fragging on the team. <laughs> That's the monitor gone now. <laughs> Somebody bolted down real quick. <laughs> Or any kind of an incident in the studio. Four on five here, Henry. Yeah. Plenty of time left. All, but all they can really do is send some pirates in to try and go for the pick. But Zaiwu hasn't been moved. He's going to hit another, I was about to say. Boros with a show-stopping shot. Snappy makes it work with the Mac 10. All of a sudden, there's signs of life here. Fake plan to try and bait out potential utility on the other side. Molotov thrown on the bomb site. Oh, no, it's getting all sorts of complicated out there. Falcons had such a lead, such an advantage. But it all falls apart. They can't quite stick the landing. No bomb goes down. And the player that had to be the hero of the round, Sam Pius, desperately hunts for another kill if possible. Flashbang sent in. They have no real further utility as the flank is initiated by Messi. I think map point is going to be obtained. And it's all down to this push. You have no idea he's coming. Oh, Sam Pius actually does get a kill on the other side. Somehow keeps the round at least doable.
There's only 20 seconds. He's sandwiched in here, and Mezzi, I think, smartly making himself very hard to find. Some players running for him. He can't get the no scope off. Huge flank coming out from Hubermeister, by to say the very least here. Tech Nines, Deagles, a Mac 10 and a Galil, Flames. Aggressive, knowing he's got such a firepower advantage in his Zywo, looking to punish, send them pack in, take us to Anubis. It looks like it's more than enough at this stage. As once again, we have another three versus one for the star player of Falcons. It's been another fantastic map in this series so far. Nuke was one of the best maps of 2024. This one's still exciting, but a convincing victory for Vitality in the end. One more kill will do it, and we're heading to Anubis. It's showing us why they picked the map, showing their understanding. They're going for a double backstab here. How do you read that? Even if you catch one of them, there will be a second surprise you're almost certainly not going to be ready for. Some pious, he fakes it once, just to see if anyone's going to come powering through. 40 seconds still. This time, he commits to it. He has to just go straight for it. But that double flank is still coming for him. I doubt if he's going to be able to see both of them coming. Oh, actually, he's set up quite nicely. There's the first one, Spinks. A little bit careless. Smoke goes up, but he has a gap on the other side. Oh, if he can live through this round, it would be absolutely insane. Bomb being tapped on the other side, but they're not fully defusing just yet. He's got the Tech-9 out. It's the right idea. Two seconds left on the defuse. He's not sure. He's not firing through, and that's how they get there. Winner will go forward to play Astralis in a rematch tomorrow. I can't wait for that. I think that's going to be really, really exciting, but... We are off to the races here. A flashbang to try and see if they can maybe get the kill on Sun Pius, but actually they're going to get slowed down themselves. And here we go. The crunch is on for the B-bomb side. Megas can Sun Pius. They open up Falcons again on for a beautiful start to the game here. Pistol round looking locked in at the moment. Simu and Flames, two versus five. And they are cannot even getting close to it. Megas with a triple kill. Falcons, how have they done it again? I'm not sure. But this is clean as you like. A simple approach. Five players all entering through the same choke point, decimating everyone in front of them. Clean plants. And it's another great start here. Vitality don't have the luxury of the save Julies. Two pieces of Kevlar. Flames might be able to survive the round. If he does, it means he gets a cheaper helmet. Maybe a chance at the Famous, but. No kills found at all. Oh, he took some damage from the blast, so that won't be possible now. To be, I say, way more stoic. I don't know. If, I don't want to read too much into it, but it, it seems to be like every once in a while you seem a little bit frustrated. I mean, he had a USB and T spawn there. Yeah, Not really much he could do. Yeah, but uh, we'll keep track of it. Third round. All M4 and all M4A ones. A little oh. bit cheaper trying to go for it here. Good shot down from Mezzi. My God, three kills. They walk right in front of him, and he is ready. Spinks on the other side. It's a flawless round. A number of times with the economy in MR12 here on the CT side. You've got to be so careful. Yo, they forced bought. They did. They absolutely did. You're right. Two deagles, it's tech nine scout. I guess because Magic's got no extra money, they're trying to just... Balance the books here? Yeah, they don't want to go forward where one uh, player is all the time without they, a rifle. They've got one smoke and a flash. Like, th there's not enough to work with here. Like, I don't even know how they set themselves up for any picks or any map control. How do they flush out A main? How do they push the CTs back? How do they take control of Darkroom? These a are the questions. questions. Yeah, I, 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 hope, the answers. I hope they do, because I, I, I couldn't tell you. Like, it's one of the most technical maps we have in the pool. Yeah, so many positions you need to burn out just to kind of get close to attacking a bomb site. All right, then. It's down to Magus, really. There's your answer. That's someone who has to brute force his way in towards Darkroom, set up the split, try and take enough aggro, and hopefully a couple of kills while the pistols are ready and waiting. Now, B main, initial utility to find some space. Snappy to be on the end of the fishing rod here. The cannon fodder as Magis will try and crack things open. Messi, it's another good defense. There it is. Shots make as you said. It had to oh! oh! one. It's taken down, Messi. Simon Flames starting to get there, sneaking closer to the bomb site, but somehow the Falcons have done what looked like it was going to be impossible. 
They get the bomb planted. They've got a man advantage here. They don't know that Saibu's here. They're going to find out in a nasty way. He takes down Madden early on. And Magus now on to try and see if he can get the ace here to close out this round. But they're already on the defuse. He has to wide swing, and it has to be right now. Oh, he stops it! Oh, oh he's nearly out the round. It's so close. Couldn't be closer there. We said Magus had to step up, Anders. He gets four kills. There was a possibility. That wipes out like we're good. They're getting into the B-bomb side. They're getting something done. A lot of it riding on Magus early on. Seven kills on him. Everyone else quite far away from that. This time, much more of a default spread. This is what we're used to seeing. Oh, the timing is ridiculous. Sun Pius probably scoped up down below and gets completely rocked. Yeah, excellent work. I wasn't expecting that. I think Flames managed to get a decent grenade towards T-Steps as well, softened him up as Apex swings from the window. Some Pius removed early. Falcons spiraling now on a T-side of Anubis. That's an important fact. It's considered to be the most T-sided map we have in the pool at this stage. Good flashbang. Forces Zywoo back, but he's got time to get back in position here. Holding towards the hut, A-Main. Under a bit of scrutiny here. Major will certainly be challenging. Flashbang goes in. It's very effective. He has time for both kills. That is world class from the Dane. Set up by Snappy. You're right. That flashbang was oh, insane. Oh, God. Here we go. Headshot taking down Sayu. He is an absolute force of nature himself right now. They are coming back towards Spinks. Kind of a little bit risky, I suppose. And maybe right. open up the other side, but it should be fine. Mezzi on his own in a one versus four. Individual brilliance from Magis there. Nothing too flashy from a strategic point of view. No detailed execution, no fakes, no real map control taken at the start. There's a flash in towards a main courtesy of Snappy. Magis with this unbelievable sequence. He had so much time to work with there as well. Free kill on the first, spots the second. Completely destroys all three defenders of the A bomb site. They get back in towards B and Mezzi nowhere to be seen. He'll have to hold onto his M4A1S. We did say that the money's been kept humble, at least for Vitality, but there's more than enough to purchase into the next round and then some. So it's going to be closing the gap. That was four rounds in a row for Vitality. Finally silenced here by the Falcons. Honing in on their prey. Magisk is not going down about it. Yeah, frustration. No question. Like you mentioned, it was some expensive rounds early on. Yep. Now, oh, so Vitality already running out of cash here. Tying up the game. It's 4-4. Four to four. Sure, they're on the CT side, so it's it's still a good look for Vitality, don't get me wrong, but Vitality at one point must have been eyeing the chance to just completely crush them. Like, it was looking really good. Meg is the only one really answering back. Now they have a bit more of a foothold. Snappy going to be setting up some deep grenades. Oh, actually, they're going to run right into him, so just a back 10. What? Flames! There's no assist. Consecutive USB headshots. How is it done? No one assisted there. That's two clean kills against helmets for the USP. We've got to see that from his POV. What the hell? Still a slight advantage for Vitality, but slight. Even in the five on three, they've got B-bomb side control. Nullify the man advantage, but still this round is up for debate. It's Zaiwu and Flames, an AK-47 recovered in the hands of the world's best Counter-Strike player. Flames, not at the MAC-10, and Zaiwu starts to reposition. Making his way back in towards A. They've lost track of these remaining two Falcons players. I don't know how he survives that one. Flames will have to fight two for nail here. Bear in mind, no Kevlar. Might just have to sit in the smoke if he can somehow steal a kill away. If, if anything, though, Anders, he has bought enough time for Zywu to rotate in. He's denied the plan. And that's an AWP. So if some Pius misses a shot, this MAC-10 is going to chew him up right away. I don't know, Flames is not in a bad position, but the smoke fading might be a bit of an issue. He's trying to run through. No scope down the other side. Sun Pius able to land the shot this time, and it's no way. like you said, the best in the world coming through the smoke. And he's up against the Spaniard on the other side. Oh, he lands the shot as well. Huge round out of Falcons. They needed a desperate. The loser will be going home. Winner plays Astralis tomorrow. Let's see who will be the next team through to the finals. So, AWP, some pious, won't have a sniper up against them as we get to the closing stages of this first half. It's five to four, Team Falcons have a slight lead. 
CT's a little bit more active this time. Not going to be sitting back in the A-bomb side. They've leaned on this side of the map. They have control of the basket room. Nades towards the rugs. Didn't quite connect. Here comes the push, Anders. Oh, he turns for the flash. Megas is so smart, but he still goes down. Snappy with an important return there. They can't just let him get away with that kind of a little hit. But they should know. They know that someone's throwing the flashbang. There was two people pushing out, so they actually have a bit of a read if they're quick to think that there's three people at the A-bomb side to begin with. See if they can make anything off it. There's nobody in the middle at all. This is, in terms of the information, actually not that bad for Falcons. 45 seconds remaining. Falcons obtain some basic mid control. Looking for the A split by the looks of things with in-game leader Snappy patrolling the extremities of A main. The missed shot is the cue for them to collapse in towards this A side. Next frag is absolutely crucial. Madam with the first. Apex finally posting some form here on Anubis. Gets a double over the triple as well. But Sun Pius absolutely eradicates him. 20 seconds remaining. They scramble towards the site. Palm will go down, but... The T's are tantalizingly low. Snappy and some pirates with 43 health beneath them. I think that was a jumping USB headshot against Snap uh, against Sun Pius. I think Apex actually hit that shot. I need the replay. He's in so much trouble. One missed shot and you're dead. Anything touches you, you're gonna be gone. Spinks even has an HE. Mezzi might be going down for free here. Some pirates sneak it Oh! He wanted to make the corner. He knew he was in trouble. Good round for Vitality. Tying up the game once again, but my god, that is close. I I think he did 82 and one with a jumping USB shot. That looked so sickening. On an absolute knife's edge. It's a pack in. Yeah, there's no way around it. And remember, they still can't win any of the pistol rounds by Tally. If they win this one, surely they've set themselves up very, very nicely. Six rounds. It is yeah, you can't really underestimate them at the moment here. Vitality now on the T side, looking to do something. Bit of a jump out just to dodge the early shot spot. Boris is here. Oh, they actually just go straight down. Snappy now put under some pressure, and he's good and taken right out. Something must have tagged him. It's Mezzi on the assist. He must have landed a dink on him somehow. Boris trying to get back in, but here comes the answer. Vitality looking to finally win a pistol. Yeah, looking very good. Calling on the fly. Went for the B split initially. Found so much success on the rotations. They go back and towards A. Running through the main entrance. Taking down everyone en route. They've got a four on one. You're right, this one is locked in. Madden can do nothing about it. It's got no Kevlar. It's just a flash, so no real reason to save. Got to see if he can find any exits here. Just to give him some sort of fighting chance in the follow-up round. If they do decide to force by in the second, even a kill would help out. That's $300. Garnered and maybe will lead them to having a little bit more in the next round, but it's all for not. Zaiwu will confirm. The teammates are, are busy shouting. The middle, the middle, and one second later, oh, actually, they're all coming towards me. They have decided to force by. No MP9s, no FAMASs, pistols across the board here, focusing on that utility. And Deagle Shot does connect somehow. Boros will do some damage towards Zaiwu. Knocks him down to 65. Now they need to desperately hold on to their utility as long as possible. They have three smokes remaining. Just want to try and grind the clock down, but Vitality are making their next move. Dissecting prime real estate. Darkroom is theirs. You know what happens next. Flashes to come over. Molotov's deployed as the MAC-10s get so close. He might even want to give this round up now unless some pious somehow gets a headshot. Madden will join him as well. How has this happened? This round is falling apart. He's managed to recover a Galil. He's completely blind and will be taken care of by Sphinx. Yeah, but they're still not really fighting for the bombs. There we go. They almost walk into that shot. Sphinx doing excellent work. Some pious and still got Megas with the Deagle. Hasn't really had a chance to fire it yet, but he can't do it. Sphinx absolutely on cleanup duty. Opening the bomb setting, holding kept, which is shut up in Danish. I love it. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, that is actually just so funny. I'm going to to find a way to replay that. Some pious clips Apex. His turn to shut up, isn't it? Snappy gets the kill onto Sairu. I, I think it's nine to six, but honestly, Falcons, if they want a chance at getting back into Anubis, it's right now. They don't have any money in the bank whatsoever. It's a five or three. This is one of the best chances they're going to get to reestablish some control here in the second one. And yeah, right by the beans. It's Mezzi to go down. 
What a comprehensive victory this is for Falcons. Not much to report, I'm afraid. Default round found a couple of picks to kick things off. Some Pius confirms the round with the kill at A main. And almost nothing to do now. You got Flames low. Sphinx will join him. If they have no territory on the map, they're just hoping CTs come hunting at this stage. This will be the first round on the board on the CT campaign for Falcons. Bear in mind, it was a 6 6 start, so they're currently down 0 3. And will be swiftly converted to 3 1. Just the round they needed as well. You can see they're fully invested here. Um, but after those kills, they will get 3250 on top of pretty much zero right now. So this is a very welcome, clean round for the Falcons. And what a delight to see Sun Pius hit some of those shots, right? We've explained how good he is. If you're brand new to the game, maybe you don't know, but um, he's better than even what he's shown here today. There's more Sun Pius on top of this. No reason why he can't make it work right here. That yeah. could put that could push them over the edge, right? If they got Megis playing this well and Sun Pius, you know, catches up, what a duo. I feel like everyone on the server's turned out. Like, no one's had a bad game. Yeah. No one's had a bad series. There's been individual highlights in buckets and spades. Throughout the entirety of this epic series. Sign me up. Oh, we've got a packed day of Counter-Strike for you here at last. A two-round lead. Great news for Falcons, not just winning the round, but keeping the rifles afloat. It is all about the money at the end of the day. Yeah. Some grenades flashing out. Megis looking for it, but the flashbang did nothing at all. I don't even think Messi turned for it. That's, right. I'm, I'm curious about that. I'd love to see where that flashbang lands. So a response here from the CT is going to try and be combative. Outside of the V bomb site, double kill potential here, but Flames will shut it down. Zai will use his intel to his advantage, but ends up leading to his death. Three on three, some pious. He bigged him up so much in the previous round, Anders. This is his time to shine. They have no further utility to dislodge him from this position. Flashbang will be it. It does actually catch him, fair enough. And now that's a plan. Flames, though, can't quite find the kill. He's 5 HP, has to just play for his life. Yeah, but it's kind of sick, though. He's still, he's created a lot of doubt in them. They have to go quick before Flames starts again. No! <laughs> there we go! A double kill, he finds it. They're so low! And a straight defuse, Matt, and he knows he has to go for it. But Mezzi's on top of it. A quad kill for the British player. Brilliant work. As mentioned, Falcons with enough resources to the save weaponry. Got an AK for Snappy and the Sun Pius AWP. Can they hold it together? It's a very T-sided map. The odds are stacked against them. Okay. Kind of a close shot, to be honest. But no luck for Simon with the early stages. Almost drop back. It's completely default setup here for the T-side. Sphinx, I think, holding a little bit outside of the B-bomb side. Just... Keeping an eye on things, making sure no CTs are sneaking out. Both teams have tried to do that sneak out of the B, but no one's really been successful with it. It's been very hard to get away with anything. Flash set up, and they're going to be boosting on top of the beams. Oh my god, if they kept the boost, I think they might have had it, but instead... It's Megisk back with more multi-kills. That is hard to recover from, and even worse now, Apex getting sniped right down the middle. It was a must-win round. They just delivers the goods. Solid hold on the A bomb side. Nice spray down, a fumbled boost. I want to see what happens if that boost succeeds. Right. Well, good news is for Vitality fans, they do have plenty of money. These rounds can and will happen. Magisk is playing unbelievably well today. He's had so many monumental moments throughout their campaign here in his best of three, fighting for their tournament life right now. He got 35 kills on Nuke, 35 and 24. Vertigo posted 15 and now on track to save the day here on Anubis. Excellent work. It was Mezzi that was the hero of the previous round. Magus snaps the glory away as we see a save initiated. Five seconds remaining. Flames and Sphinx will have to hold in towards T spawn. There it is. Clean round. Got to be careful though. Again, like you said, Magus can some high as that. That little combination. Who knows? It's not that big of a gap at the moment. Not really in connection with the grenade, so 
So I will quite happy to stand in the corner, gonna be more something out the dark room right away. And oh, that's actually so much damage. Snappy getting tagged by Messi, and he ends up going down. Sun Pius holding onto the bomb side as best as he can right now. He smoked it off at once, but right to the smoke. I think Apex might have seen him. That should be enough. The bomb is gonna get planted here. And Falcons, my god, yeah, they're getting wiped out on this one. Oh, that's disappointing. After such a glorious round in the previous, it's vitality of a comprehensive victory to find series points, elimination point of your team, Falcons. It will now have to be the perfect game. Four rounds in a row on the CT side of Anubis. A tall order to say the very least, Anders. I don't think they have it in them. It feels like they're relying too much on the individuals right now to have yeah. show-stopping moments to save the day. Magus is being hunted as well. He probably gets the first. Webry holds him to the second. Baron is no problem. Absolutely sick read, isn't it? I will say this, though, to give some credit over to Vitality as well. One of the things they're doing really well at the start of these rounds, they're not... Like... You know, he's, he's, he's honest. <laughs> you gotta, you got to commend that. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the funniest banter I've ever <laughs> He's so good, isn't he? He's a superstar. The best entry of the play, man. All right. Oh, yeah, like, look at how they're, they're holding everything. The CTs can't get the early advantage by going for, like, a flash peek around the corner or anything. Like, they can't. It's very hard, at least, to do it. They haven't really been able to. So that means Vitality, they maintain the map control, and then they play the game on their terms. One more round will do it, Anders. Yes. One more for Vitality. And they get the hell out of this one. Up against their former Anchor Magus, their former Coke Sonic. There's five more kills will do it. And a chance to play Astralis if they win this one. True. In the rematch to decide who will be going to the finals. A lot of pressure will be alleviated if they can close it out right here. Right now, Molotov is going to find a double kill. Is this the beginning of the end for Team Falcons? It's Sun Pius that will have to go above and beyond. Saw high for the Falcons at this stage. Madden, good drop down. Sun Pius, though, has taken a lot of damage on route. I think we might be done here. Magis will desperately hold on for dear life. Madden with the sound cues. They know exactly where he is. And it's Zywoo. A clinical finish.